YouTube, get here we go. Dylan Mulvaney, let's get it. Hi. One thing I will not tolerate people saying about me is that I don't like beer because I love beer and I always have. Um, okay. I built my platform on being honest with you, and what I'm about to tell you might sound like old news, but you know that feeling when you have something uncomfy like sitting on your chest? Well, that's how I feel right now. So what did you say? This feels like the right thing to do. You said, but you know you have that something feeling wet? when you have something uncomfy like sitting on. Why can't you say uncomfortable? I just don't understand, Dylan, when it comes to the kind of stuff. Who are you talking to? We are not children. It's something uncomfy on your chest. Uncomfortable. I understand we can have fun and be entertaining, but sometimes, Dylan, when it's time to be serious, you do got to sometimes just kind of, you know, speak normally. You're not speaking to children. You're speaking to adults. You know, we don't say, hey, man, you know, I got something uncomfy on my... <laughs> I, you know? It just sounds weird. Even, I mean, if you're trying to sound like a woman, I don't even hear women talk like that. Once again, that's the characterization of women. That's a weird caricature, as you could say. Uh, women don't go, I got something uncomfy on my chest. That's like something you see in a TV show, not real life. Anyway, let me shut up. On your chest. Well, that's how I feel right now. So this feels like the right thing to do. I took a brand deal with a company that I loved, and I posted a sponsored video to my page. And it must have been a slow news week because the way that this ad got blown up. You hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing. If that is coming from Bud Light, Bud Light said the CEO went on the Good, Good Morning America and said that it was one can. And it was not meant to be a paid advertisement. But you hear it saying it was sponsored. So they paid you to do that advertising. But the guy who went on Good Morning America, the CEO, said that it wasn't that. He said it was supposed to be a gift. A gift of one can. Now you're here saying it was sponsored. I'm confused. You would have thought I was like on a billboard or on a TV commercial or something major. But no, it was just an Instagram video. And the wildest part is that they also sent me one can with my face on it. You might have seen it. And funny story, I had the can around my house, but then I realized, wait, I need to protect this can. So I hid it somewhere, and now I can't find it because I hid it so well. But when I do find it, I feel like it needs to go in a museum, preferably behind bulletproof glass. It's always about, it's always about attention, ain't it, Dylan? You just don't, not even mention the can, you could just say nothing about the can. You knew you were paid to do this, but... If it's about one can, you don't need to find a can. Don't put it behind bulletproof glass. See, you think that you're so special that because of you, you think you were the downfall of Bud Light? To be honest, it wasn't you. You were just a uh, side gig, if you could say. The reason they shut it down is because they were against what you have been saying about, you know, you wanted to have kids who could have uh, procedures and surgeries done to them. It was your ideology that became the downfall of Bud Light because Bud Light was endorsing your ideology. It's not because it was you, Dylan. If anybody else was, if it had been anybody else just like you who had done the same thing, had done the whole, I'm going to be a little girl and then say, I want kids to have surgeries, it could have been anyone else, Dylan. You just happened to be the one who got picked. You're not, I, I'm not trying to be like saying that he's not an influencer. He is. But I also don't want to say like, I don't want Dylan to feel like, oh, Dylan, you're you're this historical figure. You're going to go down in history as one of the most important people ever. You, you're going to have your little moment of fame for the next year, and then you'll be gone, and that'll be it for you. Unless you do something that else is skillful. Like if you're, if you're in a movie and you play your part well, I'm not going to hate, you know? I'm not saying you can't be a great actor or any of that kind of stuff because I don't know you. But if this is, this is your peak right here is just talking about being trans, yeah, then it's over. You'll be gone by the next year. Unless you do something spectacular that is merit-based and skill-based and not the fact that you decided to be trans. That's just my opinion. And you might be thinking, Dylan, why bring it up now? I, I'm bringing it up because what transpired from that video was more bullying and transphobia than I could have ever imagined. And I should have made this video months ago, but I didn't. Mm, I wonder why. I wonder why you decided not to make this video months ago, Dylan. 
because you you weren't gonna shine. It was Bud Light's time to shine. Now that it's kind of faded out, we know Bud Light is pretty much gone, or at least for now. You gotta show your face. Gotta make yourself relevant again. Cause nobody was talking about you, Dylan. It's been a few months. I ain't really heard your name. I seen you change your hair to blonde, and I seen a couple videos about you, but I ain't seen you like popping up like that. But of course, you need to make a video about Bud Light. You gotta you gotta be relevant again, again. That's the bad thing, guys. When these TikTok people get famous, these YouTube people get famous. Some people just get famous. These hip hop artists, these pop artists, these country artists, they get a little bit of notoriety, get a little bit of fame. And it blows their head up. They don't know what to do without it. You've got to learn to live your life without always needing this attention. If you got the skills, you, you, you'll be relevant. It'll be okay. I understand you want to stay up and get that money right, but this is shameful. And transphobia, again with this, bullying. Come on, man. We stood up for what we thought was right. Why did every time we stand up for something, you guys call it bullying? Can we stand up for our rights? How come when you stand up for something, we don't call it bullying? Now, there is censorship and all that kind of stuff. That is true. But y'all don't call it bullying when y'all do the same thing. When y'all stand up for y'all's rights and y'all are going all over the place and calling us this and that and uh, bigots and all that, you know, we don't go straight to, oh, it's just bullying and then we just fade away. No, we keep showing up every single day. We keep making things, things happen. <sighs> we say the things that we know is not popular. All right? You're going to say things that is going to make little kids fall in love with you. It's going to make weirdos fall in love with you and let that that flag that flag that seems to fly above all flags of the world fly well here in america let me stop to say the world let that flag that soars above everything in this world of course you'll say all this stuff dylan you weren't like this before but as soon as you felt that mm, that fame start to pop mm -hmm. and i was scared and and i was scared of more backlash and and i felt personally guilty for what transpired so I patiently waited for things to get better but surprise they haven't really and and I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me but they never did and for months now I've been scared to leave my house I have been ridiculed in public I've been scared to leave your house we saw that picture with you and Olivia <laughs> wearing that still expensive clothes you ain't afraid to leave no house Dylan look at look at look what you look what you're sitting on Dylan, you'd have made all this money, money, money. I'm talking stacks to keep this notion going. Got to go to the White House, all of this stuff. And now you're scared to leave your house? Dylan. One, most people aren't going to attack you, Dylan. First of all, you probably have security and all that. And two, most people aren't that malicious. You know, people just don't like you. Just because somebody doesn't like you doesn't mean the second you walk out of your house, they're going to smack you up. Now, so, will an evil person do that? Will somebody who's probably not all there mentally do that? Of course, but they would do that to anybody. People get hurt every day, and I would never advocate for hurting you, Dylan. Nigga, that's crazy. You had your beliefs. I don't agree with them at all. I think you're a puppet. But at the same time, I would never advocate, advocate for any violence against you, and I don't think anybody should. That's just foolish. You haven't done anything to me that would advocate for you to be beat up or something. But... I would not, not, but also still, Dylan, you're leaving that house. But once again, every time somebody disagrees with something you say, y'all immediately go to, I'm scared for my life. No matter what it is. If I say, I don't know, Dylan and this trans kid thing is kind of weird. I'm scared for my life. Like D Dylan, you can't be scared every time we say words. We just saying words, baby. And you know, I want to say this before I continue on and I shut up. You know, the people who talk about keyboard warriors, and I've done this too, people hiding behind the screen, you know what? I'm not always against that. You know, I'm not always against that. People are going to troll. People are going to be mean behind the screen, but I'd rather them be a mean behind the screen, behind the keyboard, than come find you. You know what I mean? We don't need more violence in the world. Let people talk they talk on the internet. It's cool. You know, as long as there ain't no death threats and all that, it's cool. They're calling you this word, that word. You can live with it. You can block these people. I'd much rather have that than people showing up to your house with bat ready to beat you down because there's always going to be that one weirdo who really wants to hurt you. And they do exist. I will admit to that, Dylan. They do exist. There are people who probably do want to hurt you, but those people, we, 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 we would protect you from that, Dylan. We would not let somebody walk up to you and beat you down. If I was on the street and I saw you, Dylan, and somebody was trying to beat you up, I would try to defend you or I would get the police involved. I'm not going to be crazy. You know what I mean? Get myself hurt. 
but yeah would i call the police would i try to defend you the best i could what you know do what i can of course you know i don't think we would just sit there and let you get beat down and say that was justified that's wild followed and i have felt a loneliness that i wouldn't wish on anyone and i'm not telling you this because i want your pity i am telling you this because if this is my experience from a very privileged perspective oh, here we go know that it is much much worse for other trans people i knew it before it always goes to you could have easily said a human beings but you went straight to this is how it is for other trans people no dylan it's not always for the trans people why is it always trans people you know there's there's more of us than there are of y'all so why are you always making it seem like y'all the only ones who go through trouble in this life but just because somebody doesn't like you dylan doesn't mean we hate all trans because be honest with you i don't hate all trans i understand people do have mental disorders that they're going through i have problem with people who become narcissists and think that we should kiss their booty cheeks i'm not doing that i'm not doing all that okay if you want if you got a mental issue and you're, you're going through it and sometimes we we all choose our coping mechanism some people decide to have surgeries which i would disagree with but some people turn to drinking some people turn to drugs and stuff like that so i understand if you ended up, if your coping skill happened to end up being dressing like a woman okay do i agree of course not wouldn't agree, i wouldn't agree with a drug addict but at the same time but at the same time i'm not kissing no butt cheeks either i'm not gonna have a drug addict walk up to me and say you're gonna call me not you're not gonna call me a drug addict you're gonna call me a person who uses because of drama no i'm not doing all that i'm not calling you he she or I because you because you, you are going through your own problem i don't owe you that so quit making this scene back because bud light failed it is us being against all trans no it's us being against the trans who want to go against towards kids it's us going against people who want to control us it's us going against people who say you're going to do what we say and how we say it we don't care about you as a customer we don't care about you as a human being you're going to bow down to this flag we're not doing all that no more that's dead that's what it is, Dylan. For a company to hire a trans person and then not publicly stand by them is worse, in my opinion, than not hiring a trans person at all because it gives customers permission to be as trans. I do like how that there's still a contradiction. The CEO never mentioned that Dylan was hired. The CEO said that it was a gift of a can that you promoted. But now we are, you are saying yourself you were paid to do this. So I, I'm just curious what the CEO has to say because Dylan said he was paid. But the CEO said that Dylan was not paid. I believe he was paid. I think Dylan's telling the truth here. I think the CEO lied. And he's just too, too much of a coward to stand by it. You did what you did. But don't go. I will give Dylan this. You don't go lying on Dylan. Dylan took the money. We all know that. That's fine. Probably some good money. So, but like, don't be pushing this on Dylan as if Dylan was um, doing this of his free will because he didn't. But like, y'all should be ashamed of yourself at least stand behind what y'all did be like oh we back dylan uh it wasn't a good decision um we may have should have looked more into it okay but don't just say it's all dylan's fault because it's not dylan's fault that bud light failed it's bud light's fault that they failed let's get this straight dylan is not the ceo of bud light dylan is not owned Bud Light. but i don't know if dylan has any stock in Bud Light except for being paid to promote it so quit acting like dylan was the reason this place failed but like it was y'all's fault y'all made a decision and you screwed up okay we i get on dylan about dylan things when dylan i would disagree with dylan i will but in this case i disagree with bud light running the bus over dylan when it was bud light's choice to do this you cannot say it was all dylan's fault that's just foolish come on now phobic and hateful as they want and and the hate doesn't end with me it has serious and grave consequences for the rest of our community and and you know we're customers too i know a lot of trans and queer people who love beer and i have some lesbian friends who could drink some of those haters under the table that's not a good argument that's a really dumb argument to make Dylan. who cares who cares if you can drink beer this see this let me let it continue let me let the individual continue this is not about the beer this is not about drinking beer within itself there is hundreds of beer companies we're talking about one beer company this has nothing to do with drinking beer this Bud Light is not Bud Light is a specific beer brand. We're not against we're not against beer. We're not saying trans people don't drink beer. What we are saying is that you know what we're saying. But to turn a blind eye and pretend everything is okay, it just isn't an option right now. And and you might say, but Dylan, I I don't want to get political. Babe, supporting trans people, it shouldn't be political. 
there should be nothing controversial or divisive. You made it political when you went to the White House, Dylan. You went to the White House. So it's political. Don't act like it's not. Don't try to backtrack now. It, you don't have to make it political. I only went to the White House and made it completely political. I went and talked to the president about having surgery on trans kids. I mean, yes, having surgery on trans kids or kids that are believed to be trans. How is that not political? You went to the White House and did that in front of the president of America and said it's not political? Are you crazy? Come on, Dylan. Don't do all that backtracking now. About working with us. Stand on what you believe. Every time you have a chance to really take accountability and be like, yeah, I made it political, you could just say, yeah, it's a political issue. If you believe that, fair. But don't say it's not a political issue after you went to the White House, you did all this stuff on the Drew Barrymore show, you did the butt light thing, you went all the way, uh, you did a whole freaking musical. Come on now. You knew it was political. And, and I know it's possible because I've worked with some fantastic companies who care, but but caring about the LGBTQ plus community requires a lot more than just a donation somewhere during Pride Month. And all this to say, bottom line, is that if you follow me, if I've made you smile, if you care about me, I need you to care about every trans person. And I need you to support us and I need you to stand by us. And, and hey, it's still Pride Month. So um, I'm gonna celebrate being alive and Disgusting. I'm going to celebrate the trans people in my life and the ones I haven't met yet. And I'm going to celebrate the fact that no matter how many thousands of horrible messages or news anchors misgendering me or companies going silent, that I can. Dylan, I hate that they you get upset when somebody misgendered you and calls you he. Heck, I knew it. Because Dylan, we knew you before you were this. Okay, so... You were on a TV show, okay? You've done things while you were still dealing and just gay, right? But you've always been flamboyant and over the top. And you here you are still. But the whole misgendering thing, I just don't find it right that we have to give in to that. That's not right to me. I just have a real issue that if we call you a he, you, you get, that gives you a reason to just bash us. And if, if you know, I'll slip and call Dylan a she, because Dylan is starting to look like an average woman, I guess. But what if Dylan decided to detransition and go back to being a guy and I called him she? Would you be mad then? Because you look like a girl or a woman, for that matter? I just don't get it. Like, you sh I don't think you should get mad at people for calling you he when they hear the word Dylan. They knew who you were before all of this happened. And they know you as Dylan the guy. And you just get mad for people not giving in to your delusion. I just never, that never is going to sit right with me. It's just not. It's just not. If you want to be all that stuff, cool. But why does it have to be forced upon us to where we're evil and bullies if we just say, oh, Dylan, he is kind of, you know, you just naturally say he. I naturally say he. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm not I'm not about to drive myself up the wall and go crazy trying to misgender and trying to gender every person who calls themselves trans because there's too many pronouns to remember. He, she, they, their, Z, demon, demon, self. I'm not doing all that, man. I can't. It's just not right. You can't force that upon us. Anyway. To look in the mirror and see the woman that I am and that I love being. And, and I know you were probably here for the tea of it all, um, but I would love for something productive to come from this. So there is a link in my bio to the Trans Law Center who is doing some wonderful work. If you have the means to donate. That's and what this was all about, by the way, guys. To the good people out there, I love you. I really do. And um, cheers, but only if you're of legal drinking age. Okay. I love you. Bye. You mean there was kids watching this? That's what you meant. Um, I didn't get anything out of that <laughs> at all. We know what it was really about. It had nothing to do with that beer. Nothing to do with defending it. And to me, it was about that donation at the end. That was the point of this video. Make a donation to the whatever foundation and help trans. She probably, <laughs> Dylan probably got paid to do this. Who knows? I, I, I think Dylan got paid to promote that thing at the very end. But there's no way Dylan can make a video without at least talking about the Bud Light thing. Dylan may very well got paid to say anything about this a donation at the end and say, hey, Dylan, we'll pay you $6,000 for you to promote this at the end. We all do that. I don't, I'm not sponsored or anything, but 
you know, there's YouTubers who do that. There's Instagram models who do that. There are people who do this in the world. Twitch, kick, whatever you want to call it. Social media, they do this. You see this all the time. Somebody will make a whole video, right? A video topic around something they want to talk about. Something that's important to them. But then somewhere in the middle of that or at the beginning of that or at the end of the video, they'll say, by the way, this is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Okay? Are you tired of eating cereal that is processed? And I'm cool with it. Get your money. I'm not Dylan. Now, and that's the one thing I'll say. The, my problem with Dylan is that money that he just begged for in the end, he promotes the whole thing with having surgery on kids. So I, I like, I'm never normally against people getting money, but what it sounds like that money is going to go towards is going to go towards advocating for kids to have surgeries. I'm against that. Totally against that. Not against people getting sponsored, not against people getting paid. But when the money is going towards something we know is wrong, yeah, I got a problem. Like I said, YouTubers do this. They could they promote something in the middle of the videos. Brand sponsors, brand deals. That's how they make their money. Nothing wrong with getting paid for your image if you're putting in the work. But Dylan, I just don't feel like you're doing that, man. I just don't. But I don't hate Dylan. Let's get something straight. I don't hate Dylan. I hate what he believes. I hate what he talks about. I hate when he goes towards kids. Don't hate him as an individual because I do believe this could all turn around one day. One day Dylan could be like, you know, I was wrong. I, I did all that stuff and they had me manipulated or Dylan could take responsibility be like I was doing all this I just kind of got caught up in the moment or I was really struggling mentally and I didn't know what to do and this is this was my coping I had so many people support me I thought this was the way to go but I was wrong that could happen and I, I I'm not gonna say that's not gonna happen so I don't hate Dylan hate what he stands for but I don't hate him let's just get that straight okay well let me know what you think in the comment section down below and y'all have a Great day. Not you people who are watching the live stream. If y'all are watching this live, I'm not ending the live stream here. This is for the people who are watching the YouTube video. Okay? Sometimes when I say goodbye, and you people on YouTube are hearing this too. But when I say goodbye to YouTube, I'm not saying goodbye to you, the live streamer. I'm saying goodbye to the person who's watching this video on YouTube. Okay? And most people don't make it this far, but still. Okay? Peace.